everyone, I'm Jacqueline Campbell from the Moneris Mosaic program team, and today I'm joined by Monty McGregor from our products and partnerships team. Thanks for joining me today, Monty. Thank you for having me. Of course. I really appreciate you being vulnerable and open with the focus of our conversation today, which is on your experience as a person with disabilities in the workplace. Can you tell us about your career journey as a person with visual impairment and how your disability has influenced your experiences in your career? Well, definitely. Um, my career started back in uh, 1996. I recently migrated from uh, Jamaica in late 95. I was working with the telephone company in Jamaica, so I had some experience under my belt. So I was quite confident that I would be able to land a job here, no problem. So I started sending out resumes and I was landing interviews, and uh, but as soon as I disclose that I'm visually impaired, the interview will go downhill. Uh, we'll get back to you. We'll keep you on file, and so on. So um, I started losing confidence, and I was speaking with my wife. She uh, recommended that I go back to school. So I went to George Brown, did a business training program there. I completed the program with a 94% average, and start um, job hunting again. Uh, unfortunately, I, for me, I was faced uh, with the same roadblocks again. I would get interviews, but as soon as I disclosed that I'm visually impaired, um, it will go downhill. During um, the networking sessions, um, there was this uh, Goodwill Call Center training program that came up a few times. Um, the catch there was uh, guaranteed placement was there at the end of the program. So I applied, I was successful, got into the program completed the program. My placement was at one of the leading banks. Anyway, I decided to to take advantage of the opportunity because I wanted to to show what I can do and also to to pave the way for others like myself. So um, I started out, um, you know, with confidence, um, even though I there was some fear there. I used the fear as motivation. I borrowed uh, manuals and um, equipment, took them home um, back then. The technology wasn't as great as now, so uh, my wife had to to read the manuals um, to me. You know that was my bedtime story. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I got so comfortable with the equipment after practicing with them at times. I could troubleshoot just by listening to the equipment, and that was good for me. I was because of that I was promoted from entry level rep to senior rep within the first year. Within the second year, I was promoted from um, the help desk to technical support. And um, that led me to where I am today. Thank you for sharing, Monty. And although it's incredibly unfortunate that those companies discounted you based on their own misconceptions about your disability, I'm glad that you were resilient and it didn't stop you from continuing to try and find the opportunity uh, with uh, the placement that you found that gave you the opportunity to continue building on your career. And I'm sure it's inspiring for others to hear that um, if they're facing something similar. So I'm glad that that also led you to working with us here at Moneris. When you first started at Moneris a few years ago, how did you communicate the accommodations and resources that you needed to do your job effectively and to also navigate your own environment? Uh, that's a great question. Um, I'm glad you asked that question because it was the first time that I did not have to um, as are mentioned that I, I am uh, visually impaired or that I require accommodation. The interviewer, CJ, he asked that question um, is at the beginning of the interview. Do you require an accommodation? Is there anything we can do to make you uh, much com comfortable before we start? So that was a breath of fresh air. It was, um, I could not believe it at the time. Um, Moneris uh, paid for my Zoom text uh, software. The IT people, they were great. Um, they uh, were very accommodating in getting uh, me set up um, the, the installation process. Um, they made it as easy as could be. And Moneris also paid for my 32 inch monitor. Perfect. Well, I'm very glad to hear that Moneris was proactive in asking that and didn't wait for candidates like yourself to bring up the accommodations they needed. It's the company's responsibility to bring it up to make sure that the process is equitable for everyone. So I'm happy that Moneris did was proactive in that way. Um, and lastly, I, I wanted to ask you what message you had 
to uh, create inclusive environments and to also create a culture of understanding in the workplace? Oh, definitely. It's very simple. See us for our old self, um, not um, our disability first or the, disa or, or, or the fact that we're disabled. Uh, see us as just a normal person. Um, I would want to be known as the, the disabled guy or the blind guy or the guy with the disability, just Monty. And mm -hmm. once that's established, we'll be fine. Absolutely. And I think everyone would agree that, you know, you're not just one entity of your of yourself and there's so much more to, to everyone. So not to just be seen by, in your case, your disability. So I think a lot of people can resonate with, with your message. Uh, so thank you again, Monty, for joining me today and chatting about your experience and your perspective uh, and for sharing your story with the Mineris Mosaic. Thank you for having me.